So, Rainy Day's eight second ride cowboy is a best in show winning international champion, a best in show winning KC champion, and an American silver brand champion and a Canadian champion. We're cowboy, you're just a champion overall, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> he also holds titles for Therapy Dog Temperament Test and the new AKC. Oh, yeah, here's the answer to the question the new AKC Community Canine CGC Advance. He is a Master Club of America Gold Health Award recipient at the 2014 Orthopedic Foundation for Animals Champion of Health for the Master Breed. Apparently, it's not much like in the bragging that's going on for him right now. <laughs> Cowboy is winding down his show career and looking forward to life as a veteran. Yay, Cowboy! Yay! We have, and Jamie, no, I can never tell you that's a part sword. We have American Slipping, that would be sad. Okay. <laughs> we have American Canadian UKC International <laughs> Champion Cedar Hollows Witchy Woman CGC Point to go Inside. Inside. <laughs> you. Samantha, Sammy, or Sam. And we have American Canadian Champion Magical Mystery Tour CGN Salem. Who, who both these girls are owned by Jamie and Alan Morris and Shannon Lowe. So, Sarah is full of personality and nosing. Okay. Her day is not complete if she hasn't at least told one person all about it. Oh yes. Her middle name should be Sass. If she needs to be scolded for being naughty, she loves to back talk. Butt in the air, tail wagging, and bark, bark, bark. It's hard to be taken seriously when you are chuckling at her. This personality comes through in the ring too. She loves to strut her stuff, and even at eight years old, the judges are amazed at her movement and her great presence. Sam keeps it fun. Salem, you should have called them sugar and spice. Or naughty and nice? Yeah. Dumb teen? Thank you. She didn't poop. Last time I seemed to remember a poop in the ring. That was cute. Oh, that was cute. Salem is a sweet compliment to Sam's spice. Salem is soft in everything she does. She has never met somebody she did not like and is a staple in the breed education booths. She prefers the social scene to the show ring and is perfectly content to just lean into the closest person for earrings. If the closest person happens to be a man, she's in heaven. She and, she and Sam have one more best in show and best in specially show brace wins that we can even count. The sisters are truly joined at the hip that perfect compliment to each other. There's a picture, if you've got a catalog, there's a picture that sums up these two wonderfully. They're both laying, and is it Sam who has her head on Sam? It's Sam that has her head on Sam. It's just, it's adorable. Congratulations, Sam and Sam. Again, I'm sorry. Kane is our very own homebred Brindle Muffin. He has a sweet personality with many fun little quirks. Kane finished. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Keep going. Just Kane. Kane finished both his Canadian Ameri American championships, always owner handled out of the bread by class. He has taught us to both be humble but proud. We have enjoyed every moment that we have shared with our baby boy. Congratulations, Kane. <laughs> All right. Next we watch have. Out, guys. Sorry. Dave, watch out. Okay. Next we have Callie. 
Canadian champion reigns resolute high caliber pistol, also known as Cali, who is owned by Shannon and myself. Khaled, affectionately known, affectionately also called Buckethead or Nugget, and a few other names, but I won't say them here, has only been shown a few times and could do with more training, but she obtained, she obtained her Canadian championship with, in short order with several best of breeds. Kelly recently placed but reserved winner's bitch at the Masters Club of America National Specialty, even though she was feeling under the weather at the time. Kelly loves to travel and has lots of energy. A little bit too much sometimes. She has knocked a, more than a few things over with her 200 pound butt and by two mums. Owned by two mums, she is spoiled rot rotten and indulged in way too many ways. This is Kelly and congratulations Blue Bear. Okay, now, Gino. Where's Mr. Mino? Okay, here we have Best in Specialty Show, Canadian Champion, American Champion, Oddly Farms, Resolute, King of My Castle, CGN, or Minos, owned by Kane Lee, Annie Lee, and Shannon Lowe. Minos is the friendly and happiest guy on the block. He loves to go to shows, he loves to pull a sled and swim at the beach. And get cuddles and hugs and go for a walk. He also he likes to give cuddles because he's such a cuddly boy. And go for a car ride into the park, into the vet. Uh, basically, you get it. Minos just likes to be anywhere all the time. Um, <laughs> Minos was the national specialty winner for 2012 and finished number two Mastiff in Canada for that year. He is shown only a handful of times each year, but truly loves to show and has garnered many group placements in both Canada and the United States. Minos is loved and spoiled rotten by Kane Lee and Annie Lynn, and they love to go to shows just for fun. Congratulations, Minos. Okay, now we have American Champion Pride Rock Saddle Up for R3 CGC TBI 6, owned by Tim and Susan Pearson. Pride Rock Saddle Up for R3 Cinch is an international champion, a UKC champion, and an American champion, all three of which were earned in the past month. Cinch is also a certified therapy dog and a canine good citizen title holder. Cinch is 18 months old and just getting started with his show career. And you are going to have an awesome show career, Cinch. Congratulations. <laughs> Next we have Cass. <laughs> Sorry. You were treating her, weren't you, Jamie? No. Okay, just... now we have American Canadian <laughs> Champion Cedar Hollow's Rock and Roll Fantasy. CG and CGC TDI. Miss Tess, owners, Teru, Dave, Jamie and Alan Morris and Shannon Lowe. Tess is the queen of the household. She keeps the young ones behaving and keeps her human smiling. She loves to be the center of attention and demands that life is all about Tess. She has decorated her walls with show photos and ribbons and she has given us three beautiful babies. Her most important role in life is being the best couch cuddler. Congratulations, Tessie. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Best in Specialty Show, Canadian Champion, American Champion, Oddly Farms, Resolute, Back to the Future, CGN, Augie or Og, owned by Shannon. Augie is a sweet, fun-loving boy that he can think of many things he'd rather be doing than go to a dog show. In spite of himself, he managed to win the Canadian Master Club National Specialty in 2010 from the classes and finished up that year as number two Master in Canada. At home, Og is the welcome wagon for all creatures great and small and is 1000% trustworthy. He is gently stubborn with selective hearing and always takes his own speed. Um, Shannon loves him to bits. Other than stealing and destroying all the dog's other toys, which he does, trust me, he guts them in no time flat. Augie's favorite place to be is upside down and grinding in the dirt. Congratulations, Augie.
I mentioned a little bit. Now, we did have a few people that were absent. Yeah, right. Let's see. We had... Oh, I'm going to read out a book. Just because. Well, there's screen. So we had Rain Leroy, CGC TDI READ. So I think the READ also does the reading program in schools. Um, and he is owned at Leroy, and he's owned by BJ Fleetum. Um, Leroy, also known as the Blocker, is already a therapy dog incorporated registered therapy dog for North America started when he was only six months old and was a wonderful and was a natural from the beginning. He has no problems with wheelchairs and care facilities and is a true gentle giant. Leroy is also a read, reading education assistance dog at Heritage School in Zurich. The children range in age from kindergarten to grade seven, as well as special needs students in grade four. He has his AKC therapy title dog and everywhere he goes, he does photo shoots with all of his fans. Leroy just turned 18 months old. That is it. That's the only one that was awake. And BJ's oh. other dog. BJ's other dog. <clears throat> My little humans, Faith and Haley, Christine's two daughters, um, would describe me as sweet, loving, giant dog who's lazy and loyal to my family, although sometimes I do live up to my name. Yeah, that's fine.